Now, if you don't mind, I need to wear this jersey for another month or so. Let's go, Lake Show. Thank you, Johnny. Well done. Chad Culp. Culp will get it to John Grant. Grant turns, swim move, shoots, and will Rose get it? No! The Lakers open the scoring on a goal. Fittingly enough by John Grant Jr. A storybook beginning to this game on John Grant Jr. night as he's getting hauled to the ground. The ball just barely trickles over that goal line. It couldn't have been any closer than that. Side up. And At the top here, Martin going in. Martin shoots at a save. Rebound, they score. Picking up the loose ball. Wesley Berg, it's a 1-1 game. You mentioned his name last shift, saying the Lakers are going to have to look out for number 14. And there he is, Wes Berg, one of the strongest offensive forces on this Oakville Rock team. Mobile. Hangs on to it. Moves it over, picked off though, intercepted by Brad Self. A little 3 one for the Lakers. Self going in, he's got Stephen Hoare's one option. He shoots, he scores! Brad Self, it's 2-1, Peterborough. A great transition goal from Brad Self, three on one. Nick Rose had no idea he was gonna shoot. Pass to the right, pass to the left. Self took advantage of that and just unloaded us. Jones to Grant. Grant, backhand pass to Jones. Jones looking, hanging on, out in front. Vitarelli scores! Corey Vitarelli from Jones and Grant. It's 3-1 Peterborough. Well, he said Vitarelli off that missed shot earlier. He wasn't able to pick off where he left off from last game. Well, I guess after that one miss, he is right back to his fine scoring form. Nice dish from Jones as Vitarelli parks himself right in front of the crease, has all the time in the world to find a corner. And that happens to be the top left. I think Rose thought he had that angle cleared. Courier stealing it. Nice job by Zach Courier. Courier goes in. There's a pass to Grant. Grant shoots. He scores. Used the screen, found an open space. And it's 4-1 to Peterborough. Oakville's arguing, and I think they may have a case. There's no video replay, so the goal will stand. But I believe the Lakers had too many men on the floor. They sent one guy out the back gate before the offensive guy was fully back onto the bench, and that's what the Rock are arguing. Meanwhile, John Grant Jr. takes the ball. Nice bounce shot through a screen. Rose had no chance. This is how he saw it. Boom. <laughs> what a smart play. Like, he knew he didn't have to whip it that hard. He just It was more about trying to surprise Rose, and that he did. Yeah, all about accuracy with that one. Good draw win here by The Rock. There's a fake. They score. They go right back down and reply. That is huge for Oakville as Glenn Bryan on the transition off the draw made no mistake, and Oakville back to within two. What a great play by Bryan, able to take off ahead of everybody, get to Evan Kirk basically right after the faceoff. No time wasted at all. He was gone, took the feed just inside that dotted shooting circle, threw a little tiny fake, had Kirk going down. Awarded the ball, and they'll work from out of the corner. This is played here by Noble. Noble hanging on to it. Now he shoots, he scores! And the Rock are within one. Two quickies here by the visitors. And we're back to a one goal game as we approach the midway point of this one. That's how quick it can happen in lacrosse. Three goals in pretty much just over a minute. That one, Noble using a Lakers defender as a screen. Smart play, similar to like the junior goal that we saw earlier. Kirk didn't see it coming as Noble took one step back away from the screen and just unloaded far side underneath the glove of Kirk. Here by the Peterborough Lakers, it's Brad Self. Self to Mark Stainhouse, and Stainhouse to Jones. Jones, nice flip pass, Vitarelli scores! Corey Vitarelli makes it 5-3 Peterborough. 
Corey Vitarelli made sure that one went in right at the top of the crease. A huge wind up, put all of his muscle behind that one to whip it by Rose. Nice little dish from Jones to get it through and Vitarelli with an absolute rocket that you normally see from the outside. He's right at the top of the crease unloading. And I love Joel Matthews at the end. There's some pushing and shoving that goes on. Number 91, Joel Matthews comes in, clears everybody out, away from Stainhouse, away from Vitarelli. That's what... And here's the hit from Hoare on Challen Rogers, just coming out of nowhere. Matthews scores! There's a goal, he silences the Oakville bench. It's 6-3, Peterborough. Well, it took almost 14 minutes into the third period, and Mark Matthews, who has worked so hard tonight, gets rewarded with a goal, and Nick Rose didn't see that one coming again. You watch him, he's just frozen there. Flip pass from Sean Evans. I think that had his jaw dropping on the floor. I know it had the crowd drop. I don't know how Sean Evans sees these defense or these offensive guys coming in with him, but that's the reason they've only scored three all game. The shots he does face, he's right there. Otherwise, some tough Lakers D. Here's a chance. Stainhouse shoots, he scores. He was all alone. He made no mistake. Mark Stainhouse. Stainhouse has had a gritty game, playing very aggressive. Lots of pushing and shoving after the whistles, but he has been held to just one assist so far. That is a huge goal for number nine. His first of the playoffs, obviously. He's left all by himself. A great feed from way outside. And watch this shot. It's just a little bit of a shovel overhand. Enough. With the extra attacker, Martin shoots. Tried to go the five hole, and that is stopped right there. And a long pass ahead. Here's John Grant into an empty net for the hat trick. He scores. Was there any doubt? That's three for Grant. And that will seal the deal tonight. That will be more than enough to secure a win in game number one. John Grant Jr. with a five-point night. And they should tonight, keeping the Rock to three, make it an 8-3 final on John Grant Jr. night here at the Peterborough Memorial Center. And the Lakers take a 1-0 series lead in this MSL semifinals. We'll be back to your post-game show coming up next right here on Kojiko TV.